Hey guys, Lucas here from Future Surplus, and today we're going to talk about everything about your standard dope magazine pouch. Uh, we're going to go over the Eagle Industries one, because in particular, in my opinion, this is the best standard baseline double magazine pouch you can get. We're going to go over what it is, what it does for you, all the uses, and some additional uses and ways to improve the capabilities of this pouch. So make sure to stick around. So, like I said, we're going to talk about the Eagle Industries double mag pouch, um, because in my opinion, this is the best baseline pouch you can get. Um, it is khaki in color. We'll go over that a little bit later. But it's made of a thousand in year uh, nylon cordura fabric. So it's pretty much indestructible. This thing's going to stand up to a lot of abuse. So you can't really get, destroy these, and you can do whatever you need to be, and they're going to last you a very, very long time. So, what does it do? So, it uses a flap with hook and loop, your Velcro, to hold two magazines in there. It has an elastic band around the magazine pocket. Provides some additional retention. There's a drainage grommet, which is pretty much standard on any mill spec type pouch, and it's Molly mountable. So these two straps, you can mount it to pretty much any Molly surface that's big enough to fit it. So that's your baselines about this pouch. And most old magazine pouches will follow these same kind of features. Um, some might be a little more fancy, but in basic form, this is got everything you need for a magazine pouch, and you can improve upon it greatly. Let's see. Let's talk about magazine fitment next. All right, so this is a standard kind of issue pouch. I'm not standard issue, but it is an issue pouch in the U.S. military, or at least was, whatever. But um, so that means it was made for the standard AR, you know, standardized uh, 30 round magazines for 5.56. So that's what it's made to fit. It can fit a few other things in there as well as far as magazines, but it's best going to fit your two standard magazines. Now it does that again, hook them flat, secures over it real well. You can get that as tight as you want, and this elastic band provides a little more retention. Now, you know, that's, you can't really argue with that. You pull one out, put it back over, it's not going anywhere. So, can you fit your polymer magazines in there? Because I know that's a really big thing. Everybody has polymer mags. Um, you know, that's the biggest question there. Do they fit? Yes. Do they fit great? No. Um, I would say for any double magazine pouch out there, polymer mags don't work super well in there just because you got all these bridges on a P-Mag in particular. Most of them are going to have something like that. Um, you know, finding a really slick one, you can, but that's what really gets them. So they're a little taller and they're a little thicker. So they'll still fit just fine at the end of the day. Still close over them, still secured, but they're not quite perfect in there. And we see when you're pulling it out, it kind of drags, scratches, scruffs, whatever. So yes, they fit. One of them's going to fit better than two as far as, you know, just niceties of getting in and out of there. But yeah, they do fit. So let's talk about khaki next. So what if you don't like khaki? Because I'm recommending this pouch and most of them are going to be found in khaki. Uh, well, khaki is a good base color for any pattern. It's going to blend with any kind of camo pattern, really. Or any, you know, whatever your kit is, it's going to uh, mesh into it pretty well. But you're like, I don't like khaki. So you can paint it. Um, I would recommend checking out a um, video we did a couple, couple of weeks ago um, on here about how to paint pouches. And you can see I can take a khaki pouch and I can easily paint it to mesh more with pretty much any camouflage pattern and my uniform, whatever it is need be, or my environment. And it just, you know, instantly changes up that appearance and makes it blend better with what you're wearing and in your environment. So if you don't like khaki, just paint it. All right, so now we're getting into the uses of this pouch, where to put it and kind of where it fits best on your kit. So we're going to start off on your plate carrier, your body armor, because that's where most people are going to be wearing this. And there's two good places to carry your, your double magazine pouch on your kit. So first off, on the front. Now on this JPC in particular, it's not quite the best place to put it, but in general, on the front of your kit, stack three, you have six magazines, now you got your baseline combat load ready to go. And on even on JPC or something like this, where there's a kangaroo pocket style for you know three magazines off the bat, um, you still put it on front, keep one or two right there, or we'll go into some other uses later for it, but it's a good place to put it right on the front of your kit. Now, if you have something like this where you got, you know, a slim three right here, you can put it on the side of your kit. Now, that gives you the ability to carry two more right there, and, you know, they're out of the way. They're not going to really get in the way. It's still easy to get to, and you can still carry, you know, your full combat load. Put one of these on each side, two, three, and two, you're really good to go. So, nowhere to complain with that, and you can put them all over the place. There's tons of uses for these pouches we'll get into, and front of your kit's the most basic form, and where most people are going to find these kind of pouches at. Okay, next use is probably one of the more, the most, second most common use for this is on a belt kit, on your tactical belt, um, 
whatever you want to call it, so around your waist essentially. So I have this set up on a belt here right here, um, on a war belt, and you can see I can keep pouches right here on there. They can mount right to it like they're made to do it. And I can keep you know as many as I need on there. So right now I got three on there, and that's six magazines right there. I can put a whole other one right here, have eight, and have a plussed up combat load. One on your belt, they're gonna fit, sit right there, carry your magazines, easy to get to when they're right on your waist. Um, I've gone over this, almost this exact same belt kit before um, on a previous video, so you can see kind of how it fits and looks on you. But yeah, on your belt kit is probably the second most common way to use these pouches in general, and you really can't go wrong right there. All right, this next use is something that is oftentimes advertised, but I don't think really thought as something to use it for when you're looking at a double magazine pouch, and that is as a holster. Now, I will say it's not the greatest, most secure, it's pretty secure, but like the greatest way to do it. But if you really need to hold your pistol, you like you're just throwing it on your kit because you need it at that moment in time. These kind of pouches do work really well for that. So you change your, you know, Breda 92 FS fits right in that magazine pocket, and then that hook and loop flap is going to give you a good bit of retention right there. So where would you use this? So you can use it on your kit. You can put it on your belt. Um, you can put it, you know, on the side if you really need to like throw your pistol on your kit directly. It's a way to do it. Um, it's not really done much anymore. If you look back, like early Iraq, GWAT, Afghanistan, this is something you would see more than you'd think. But doing it there, and then on your belt kit too, it is a way, if you have to change things up real quick, you know, like going on a mission or something like that, out in the woods, you know, if you have four of these pouches on there, you've already got eight mags, drop two, three pistol on there, and you have a way to carry it. Now, in and out, you know, getting it in there, um, depending on how it's folded, it's gonna be a little, sometimes, of a pain, but getting out is pretty easy. Rip that flap up, pull it out, good to go. So as a holster, it's gonna fit most of your full size nine millimeters, um, and it's gonna retain them fairly well. We'll go over some additional retention options later, but as a holster, it does work. If you're in a vehicle, and all of a sudden you need a pistol on you, on your front of your kit, drop two mags, throw a pistol in there, good to go. Um, that's pretty much the most common use for that as a holster is when you're in a vehicle and you really need your pistol off your belt and on your kit so it's easier to draw in and out. So yeah, let's go on another use. Alright, this next use is one that you might have seen before um, and it's just a good way to add to your capabilities in general. So it's used as a mini IFAC. So your standard double magazine pouch, especially the Eagle Industries ones, will hold a four to six inches really bandage, a quick clot, and a piece of gauze. And you can even shove a chest seal on there too, like a hyphen chest seal that can fold in half. So why would you want a mini IFAC kit on your kit? Well, if you have a full IFAC, you know, having additional medical supplies if you have the room for it, never a bad idea. Maybe you have multiple lines of gear, so your belt kit, your plate carrier, your backpack, everything like that. Each one can have an IFAC, and one can have the main IFAC. So your belt has the main IFAC. Your plate carrier has a secondary IFAC and stuff like that. This is a good way to keep a small amount of medical supplies handy and on one of those lines of kit without taking up too much space. So, as I said, you can fit a whole piece of gauze in there, quick clot, and a four to six inches railing. So what that does for you, gives you the baseline stop to bleed kind of stuff, so you can treat a gunshot wound or whatever you need be, and it's an easy way to keep it. It's gonna be secure. Um, this flap's not going anywhere as it is, and once they're in there, this elastic band on the pocket keeps it really tight in there. All right, we're gonna cover one more use and then some things you can do to your pouch to improve its you know, retention and capabilities. So one last use, I don't have a good prop show off is radio pouch. You can fit your smaller handheld, more civilian line radios in there real well. And that uh, the hook and loop flap is gonna keep them in there pretty good. So your, some of your like bowfang or whatever, how you say it. Um, you can even fit an embitter in there um, and they will fit in there and stay pretty secure. And then if you check out our video on the HSGI bungee kits, you can see how to make this pouch into open top pouch and add some retention to this kind of pouch for storing radio of some sort. So now let's talk into what if this flap, as it is, isn't enough retention for you? You're like, ah, it's not enough. Um, there's a good way to add retention with the flap, not folded back and some mudges on top to extra secure your stuff. Now, it requires a little bit of pieces on your part. Um, one piece is HSGI bungee kits. And the other piece is a toggle, I'll show you, that you're gonna have to source on your own because those are just little things that are harder to find. But what you can do is, take some shot cord, run through the loop right here, 
take a toggle, tie it off the grommet, and now you have extra bit of retention on your pouch. So that allows you to, if you let's say you have a pistol in here, you're like, man, I just don't like how the flap is kind of loose or you know too easy to get in and out of. So you can take that, take a little toggle, and boom. Now it's extra in there. So you have a little bit of extra retention on whatever it is that's stored in here. Magazines, a pistol, um, more sensitive SI like a GPS, um, you know, anything and everything like that. So with using HHI bungee kit, the tab, and then unfortunately you're gonna have to source a toggle all by yourself. Amazon, Google, you can find those kind of things. And then you can just lace it up pretty well. Now you got some extra retention. Now, even if this does get caught, that flap's not going anywhere. So whatever's in there, it's gonna stay in there pretty well. This is just an easy way to add corner lay retention that does that comes in and off, on and off, pretty easily. Rather than just getting a whole buckled pouch. You can convert your pouch into this. So I used the HHI bungee kit with the tab. Had to cut a little short once I got the retention I needed. And now it wraps with this toggle that is tied in some 550 cord. Now this, you have to find yourself. I uh, don't have really any good recommendations. This one I took off an old backpack. But once it's tied through, um, get that tied good on the base. Once that's wrapped around there, as long as the, everything's tied up well, it's gonna give you a whole other level of retention on your pouch. That's a way to just improve, in general, everything. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this overview of all the ways to use a double magazine pouch. Um, if you're getting more double magazine pouches, just getting in a tactical kit, and this is like really your introduction to it, um, I do heavily recommend your standard, standard Eagle Industries double magazine pouch because you just can't go along with these. These khaki ones are just, they're near indestructible um, and they're gonna last a very long time. And you can always paint them, do whatever you need to do on them. We've got plenty at the store, so make sure you head to and pick some up as well as all the other gear you might need.